first match. circuit in the Midwest. Now we're going to find out if he is major league material. Tonight I plan on heating up MLW. Dakota, you're first. And his opponents. Brazil, who has shown such a lot of hard fighting spirit here in Major League Wrestling, Matt. And here is a match in the middleweight division. And coming up within this special tonight, we're going to crown a new world middleweight champion. Well, a lot of people like to sleep on the middleweights. Everyone likes to term heavyweight, heavyweight. But listen, if you're a boxing fan, you'll know some of the greatest names in the fight game came out of the middleweight division. Right? Like Marvin Hagler and Jake LaMotta and Sugar Ray Robinson. And now, here in our great sport of wrestling, perhaps the next wave of middleweight sensations are right before us. Well, they call him the Haitian sensation, Koto Brazil. And uh, Myron Reed has a lot to prove, and we'll see what he does. Very calm and staying in the corner and staying away from all that Cotto Brazil was doing at the beginning of the match. I like that. There's a poise in the young man that many fans are taking to call the fireman Myron Reed because he's the hottest wrestler in the sport today. Clever, no? Yeah, I would think so. <laughs> Brazil came right up on that, and Myron oh, ducked. Oh, look at that maneuver. Matrix out, kip up, tried to go for a cravat there, sent it to the ropes, leapfrog to get out of the way by Brazil. Look at this. Wow. You know, you oh, double kip up that time, and face to face they go. It looks like we have two guys who kind of employed the same strategy here. Yeah, and the difference is going to be the height, and it looks like that uh, Myron Reed is going to have a longer reach advantage, and in any kind of fight, any kind of sport, that comes into play, but Cotto makes up the distance well. With a good drop kick, and he was actually in close proximity to that time, and he runs in with reckless abandon, and that, that was right in the foot. And now Myron Reed is going to try to go up top for the first time here. Oh, notice the small thing there. Hang on. One, two, got a two. Myron manipulated the hips of his opponent, and any fighter will tell you, if you can control the hips of your opponent, you can dictate the pace of the match. Another two count that time, and I don't know. Well, all of a sudden, Reed, and we're only a couple minutes into this match, showing a little bit of frustration, and maybe he shouldn't. Of course, this being our Battle Riot special, I, I think that everyone's tensions, everyone's sure. patience is just, just a little shorter tonight. All right. Young man out of Louisville, Kentucky. No one ever came out of Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> <laughs> and into the corner, and a full arm drag and twist. And now into the corner he goes, taking flight. Well, he's got a lot of spring in his legs. He can really get up. And there's Cotto Brazil showing that he can get up as well. Whoa, how about that? A lariat caught him into the top turnbuckle with it. And it's almost like when you play billiards or eight ball. One move sets up the next. And that's what I'm noticing here from Brazil. He's a good combination fighter. He's going to try for a cover. He hooked a far leg, but not much of a cover that time. Only got a one count out of that. Of course, uh, Brazil was announced from Porto Prince Haiti, now residing in Clearwater, Florida. And there, there's something about, you know, he had to migrate, he had to come to this country. There's something about the demeanor, the perspective, the approach. Kodo doesn't seem to let little things get to him. You know, it's almost the I'm happy to be here mentality. And there, there's nothing wrong with that. When we first saw Kodo Brazil here in Major League Wrestling, he was had an eye patch. So he overcame that eye injury, continued to wrestle, continued to battle, and now he's the patches off. And, uh, and, and again, just a lot of fighting spirit from this young man. Reed sought reprieve on the ropes, but the submission may have done damage here, as you notice that Myron is not back up to his feet until Koto brings him there. Koto, we understand, has done a lot of MMA training. How much do you think that helps out in the wrestling ring? Absolutely. I think it helps out quite a bit. I think our sport is evolving every day. You saw earlier with the full-arm drag and twist and then the whip into the rope. That'll pop a shoulder right out on such a basic move like that. You learn that by studying mixed martial arts. And a leg up. 
up into the face. Oh, and over the top goes Cotto Brazil, and he's going to go back to the foot. And again, they employ the same maneuver at the same time, and both men go down hard. Notice that Reed's in the middle of the ring, Brazil on the perimeter of the ring. That means Brazil will probably get up first because he'll have the ropes for leverage. Let's see. Well, he's trying to pull himself up without using the ropes. How about that? Very admirable. Yeah. And then the fans seem to appreciate it as well. Yeah. So Again. The league fighting spirit there from Cotto Brazil. A gut wrench, and Cotto just defensively moves him out. And with a knee, found its mark. And Myron Reed may be in some trouble here. Cotto's up top again. And, and you alluded to how they have similar styles, but I think that the, the one difference is that Brazil uses the ring almost like a tag team partner. You saw there Myron was draped over the middle rope. Cotto took advantage of it. Gip up again by Cotto. Watch out. Take it. Oh! Oh! And right to the barricade, the safety rail on the outside. It's amazing to me that Reed can even try to get back in the ring. You're going to see another tope here. Oh, oh and again, at that time, the back of his head. You know the old saying, if one is good, two is always better. <laughs> That's right. I guess it's welcome to the major leagues, Myron Reed, huh? Wow, yeah, but Myron Reed came right out of those oh. two with a drop kick. Yes, sir. Very similar to, to another major league fighter we have here, Shane Strickland. Long arms, long legs, reach advantage. Oh, gosh. Caution to the wind there. You're not kidding. Elevating himself over the top rope. Flying hip attack from over the top rope. But Byron knows, as you can see here, got to get him back in the ring. Can't beat him on the floor. And the referee is letting him know that. Yes, that is a supremely great referee. <laughs> Some of the fans getting behind Reed here. Again, in the middleweight division. Do you think his hair color is for natural butch Reed? <laughs> Good Hang on. One, two. He got a two count. Wow. Strong leg hook there by Myron Reed. You pulled that one out, man. <laughs> I got bloody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And I'm sure it's great for you, it's great for me, to watch these new young fighters. Absolutely. Just to watch. Sure. Look at the passion that they have, the intensity that they have. This is a great sport, and we know it's in good hands moving forward. Now back into a corner once again. Here comes Myron Reed. We'll shoot him in and follow him in. Koto. Nice. Wow. Look at that. Koto used his leg strength there. Yes, he sure did. He goes with a gut wrench. Oh, suplex again. This time bridges to a one, two. And he got a two count. I like a of, I'm sorry, man. A lot of times when they have that German suplex, sometimes you got to be careful that your shoulders are not down. We've seen that many times. Right. You know, Byron has not moved since. And uh, Brazil up top. Here he goes. Oh, boy. Just too much time up top. Oh, but, but Brazil was able to change everything in midair and lock in a modification on a time-honored submission hold. Now, see if he's going to also... Oh, leaning deep. The pressure on the ankle and the lower back. Referee's got to get out of the way so Reed can try to get to the ropes here. That's his only salvation, and that's exactly what he does. Look at how the back was bowed that time. On Reed. And that's almost the height of Reed being detrimental there. He was able to make the ropes, and now Cotto feels it looks like a little surge of confidence here from him. See the pain etched on the face of Reed, and I'm sure that Brazil will focus the attack on the, the lower back. Question mark. Cravat and knee strike, softening up his opponent. Look at the way the arms of Reed are hanging, right? block there. Maybe he was uh, trying to uh, play a little possum here that time. And Cotto thought that he was just dangling there, but oh boy, that, that found its mark. Now, I know the name of the game is wrestling, but every so often when a fighter throws a, a straight right hand, it yeah. completely changes everything. It, it really has. And the referee warns him, and now that is going to cause Reed to come right back with some fist of of his own. He hits the rope. Cotto waiting on him, got the foot up, and Reed again just seems to be dangling. And he sends Cotto in. Great evasive tactics there by Reed. Oh, with a cutter. How about that cutter? It could be it. Reed covers. One, two. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Reed didn't have all of his body weight on his opponent there, otherwise this match would be over. Absolutely. And Reed now goes up top. Yeah. Doesn't 
take a look out at the crowd. Reed up to the top turnbuckle. How important is this match in his career? for action, Tony, this huh? is tremendous. <laughs> Absolutely. Kids are giving it their all here, and uh, Reed, coming out of the 450, still was able to escape after hitting the knees that time of Kodo Brazil, and now with almost like a front chancery pickup here. And the fans getting behind it as well. And again, this is the type of fighting that you're going to see in this middle world division. Great inside-out cutter there by Reed. But it's fast-paced and it's hard-hitting. It's a perfect blend of everything you love about the fighting arts. It's all Major League. Oh. And Kodo gets a cutter of his own. One, two, three, and he wins it. it is. We're going to crown a middleweight champion later on, and also to come, it's our battle ride on this, our battle ride special from New York City.